Tsunamis are evil. But it's okay. What defeats evil? Anybody? Love. Love. <laughs> I, knew I knew it! I called it! This is the only way we can beat Tsunamis, everyone. Dude, I- What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 59 of Dropouts. Today's a special episode. Can uh, I say it? Sure. It's a pizza party PowerPoint podcast! Woo! It's a pizza party PowerPoint podcast. So if you guys don't know, this is our big pizza party podcast. I know you guys have been in school before, and when something good happens, sometimes you're rewarded with a pizza party. Well, basically, we haven't done anything spectacular in our lives, um, so we don't deserve a pizza party, but we make our own money now. So, so we, we can. can. So we can reward ourselves for doing absolutely nothing. That's what we're doing today. I have I have my cran raspberry juice. That's wine. And She's also drunk. I promise you it's just cran raspberry. And I got my blue Fucking che- alcoholic <laughs> drinking on camera. Got my blue cheese. Ugh, wine and blue cheese. It's not wine. <laughs> it's literally cran raspberry. I'll go get the bottle. No, we don't need you to get the bottle because you'll probably suck it on down. <laughs> um, Indiana's drunk. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Jared huh. is probably drunk, too. When, um, when so. are you not drunk? Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> what? I'm going to roll the intro. If you guys hear us eating on camera, it's because uh, we are. It's our pizza party. And you guys might be like, that's disgusting. Why would you eat on a podcast? And we say... Because we can. What's up, B-Words? Welcome back to episode 59, The Dropout. We're doing a pizza party, and we've got some PowerPoints to show you. What mm-hmm. kind of pizza did you get? Barbecue chicken. I'm, that makes me sad and oh, mad. And wait, so like the sauce is barbecue? It's just all barbecue? No, there's tomato and barbecue sauce. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I don't like barbecue to begin with, so. You look like your name would be barbecue. That's just, that might be one of the most offensive things. You look like you're on the playground, and then all the kids be like, yo, where's BBQ? And you're just like, I hate that nickname so much. You're like, they're like, shut up, fried chicken. And you're just like, wow. <laughs> no, I feel like the most offensive thing someone's ever said to you was when I called you and said, you look like you couldn't swim. I was you just got I was so, so mad. You, were so, you went, I'm a natural born swimmer. I'm a natural born swimmer. I'm such a good swimmer. <laughs> you don't even know. If I wanted to, I could have been on swim team. <laughs> no, but um, if you're wondering why we are talking about PowerPoints is because Indiana's birthday is coming Dude, out. I don't know who Indiana is, and if you keep just shouting names I even names use out, her full name. You always correct me when I just say Indy. You go, Anna. I used her full name. And is you that still who this is? Yeah. Okay, well, no one's clued me in. 58 episodes, 59, finally someone tells me their name, it's and now I know. It's second, great to meet you. Yeah, it's great to meet you. It's my second birthday on a podcast. Wow. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do for it? Because I kind of went all out last year. That's what this is for. Okay, so we we know we need to do something special for Indiana's birthday, and we're thinking about going um, on a trip, a little excursion, a little getaway, a little fun in the sun, or fun in the dark, depending on where we go. Um so we all each individually made PowerPoints of where we can go for Indy's birthday. Yeah. Um, and why why we should go mm-hmm. to our destination. So we're going to go with Jared first. You're going to present your PowerPoint first to the we're, class. I'm going last. first. No, I'm going last. Oh, okay. Why are you going last? Decided hey, on the it. best for last. Well, no. <laughs> Mine is, I can promise, not the best. I maybe put in the least amount of effort. Well, and, and that just checks out. All right. So let me go to, let me pull up mine. Um. I'm so excited if you're this just feels like we're back in class. Mm-hmm. All right. We actually. dropped out for a reason so we don't have to do stuff like this. Well, we think we're gonna start making it like an every two week thing. I just thought it would be funny if we did we had like a giant bowl worth worth with random topics in it and then you had to pull out like this week Indy has to do a PowerPoint on goldfish. And then um, Jared has to do it on, like, the Industrial Revolution. It, <laughs> it just absolutely makes no sense. I think that would be a fun time. If you think that would be a fun time, smash that like button. <laughs> Zach just immediately turns into a, every YouTuber ever. I'm right. also not wearing shoes this week because I am in my living room, okay? Okay. The greatest birthday destination. Wait, are we? do we grade you? What? Are we going to grade you at the end? or your teachers? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so the greatest birthday destination by Jared. Oh, that's you, you. If you didn't, and this is exciting, guys, because I get to pick. All right, here we go. Here's why it's Cincinnati. No, Ohio. Oh, no <laughs> way, Jared. So we're going to my hometown. <laughs> no. And here's the first reason. First of all, 
Skyline chili. Oh, that Boo! Looks awful. Okay. It is awful. It's not awful. It's is that delicious. spaghetti underneath chili and cheese? Yes. You can get a, a three way, four way, <laughs> or five way, right? The Ugh. three way is called a three way because it's spaghetti, chili, and cheese. Four way, you get beans or onions. And then five way, you get Dude, beans and onions. Never mind. You look like your nickname will be Onion. <laughs> you Fuck look like the you. most onion looking person I've ever that seen. That looks like the grossest thing ever. It's, it's disgusting. literally the most delicious thing. That, I'm going to let you have that the That looks so nasty. Imagine having chili. And then being like, let's throw some cinnamon in there and ruin it. Cinnamon? Okay, you act like it's a cinnamon cookie, okay? Like, there's not that much cinnamon in it. There's cinnamon in it? A little bit. Oh, that's fucking gross. That's what, that's what it on. is. It's cinnamon chili. You know, at the end of the day, you're trying to impress me here because I make the decision. So keep going. You're not doing well so far. All right. Next slide. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> okay. It's actually Punta Cana. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what? Punta Cana? Where is that? Dominican Punta? Republic? Isn't yeah. That, isn't that the B word in Spanish? That's puta. Oh. <laughs> Yours is already so much better than mine. Uh, so, I got you. I, I, I just wanted to see how you guys would react if I brought up Cincinnati. I feel like I handled it pretty well. Um, <laughs> Cut to me handling it pretty well. <laughs> Cincinnati. No! Ohio. Oh, no <laughs> way. Okay. Punta Cana. So. Dominican Republic. I've never been there. I've never been there either. Okay. Dominican Republic. Huh? I'm into the Dominican Republic. No, I went to the IHOP on Third Street the other day. <laughs> and this, this old man looked at me weird. Okay. All right. Here we go. Reason Pretty. number one. The beaches are absolutely picturesque, right? It looks like it's straight off a postcard. Beautiful white sand beaches. Mm-hmm. and it's Why are they got to be white sand beaches? It's because they just are. I just think we should go to a place with inclusion. Is so. Anyway, go on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh my God! Anyway, um, they're also they're all very nice and very private like that. You see these like nice little huts where you just walk on the beach. They're beautiful. Um, and then because it's like light colored sand, it doesn't get too hot while you're mm. walking. Burn your little feetsies. Okay. Mm, I don't Next. like my feetsies being burnt. They have dozens of all inclusive mm. resorts. Which is what was it? It was a, it was a must have. It was in a must this trip. It was a must have. Considering in this trip. it's coming out of my bank account. The all inclusive was a must. The all inclusive is a must. Now, all inclusive um, averages it's like for a three night uh, a three night stay, uh, which I assume we might do a little longer than that. It'd probably be like four or five. But for a five star resort, it averages about four hundred dollars a person for three nights. Right, so. Not terrible, yeah. like yeah. a little over a hundred. You know, it's uh, not bad. a day. Eggs um, come in a dozen. That's where I knew that reference was from. Oh, God, I want to hit you sometimes. I On really me? Do. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I'd be and smitten. Punta Cana is a relatively Feels new... Feels like a racial slur when you say it, but go ahead. It's not. Okay. Um, it's a relatively <laughs> new tourist location. Um, so most of the uh, all-inclusive resorts are built in t- uh, 2016. Nice. New ones. New wow. Ones. My nice. ex was born in 2015. That's disgusting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> I mean, I wrote notes on this. All right. Next, the weather and water are better and calmer than most places in the Caribbean. Why is that? I don't know why. (laughs) I just know the average temperature in Putacana is 78 degrees. Nice. With, uh, like, wind speeds of a light breeze. I don't know how fast that is. Wind speeds of a light breeze. But because the wind speeds are um, calmer, like, uh, you know, slower, that means the water's not as choppy. It's very relaxing. Nice. You know? Um, there's also tons of activities to do while we're there. Um, you know, you see, you can do... What kind uh, of activities? You put so much effort into this. <laughs> I can't... This is really only five minutes of effort. And this I is so sad. promise that you. This is five minutes of effort. Um, <laughs> you, you have uh, dune buggies. Mm. You, get, you can rent that dune buggies fun. and go beach, like driving on the beaches that and stuff. That sounds really fun. You can do zip lines. Horseback riding on the beach. That was fun. Riding snorkeling. On the beach. Uh, snorkeling, swimming with dolphins. Um, oh, no swimming with dolphins. Why? That's... They're, it's really bad. it's really sad actually. Oh. Yeah, they're like kept in captivity and yeah, they're really lonely. It's really bad for the environment too. No swimming with dolphins. <laughs> no swimming with dolphins. Sorry Take about that, that off, but snorkeling. What sea life like can we swim with? It's cool. Any um, wild any wild sea life is I'm down for. But not can I swim with yours? Not ones that are kept in captivity. That makes me really sad. Okay. Uh scratch <laughs> that. <laughs> then. Um happy and birthday. So happy birthday. So Aww. this is that's 
Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I was wearing shorts in that photo. What? No. no. <laughs> Do oh. you not see the Photoshop? <laughs> Man, the way that your mind processes things <laughs> couldn't make me more angry. I was like, I how did you not see that that was the worst <laughs> Photoshop job of all time? I was I like, li- oh, I've never seen this short. She was probably like, when did I go to the beach and take that too? <laughs> I was like, I know I had the short. I was like, oh, they're cute though. Where can I get those shorts? My God. <laughs> Yay! Our God. Okay, it's my turn. All right, hold on. Let We're going to switch places, right? All right, guys. Hi, hey, Jared. How about we buy some clean socks, buddy? Stop. You look like you walked <laughs> through mud for six years and just decided, hey, I'm going to plop off these shoes so everyone can see. Okay. Here's why we should go to Cancun. 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 Mexico. I had no idea you had a monitor down here. This feels so professional. Thank you. I thought that's, I thought that's what we called a uh, caterpillar. Before they come a, a butterfly, they can coon. Let's move it. Oh move my on. God. First point: the legal drinking age is eighteen. Need I say more? No. But if you need me to, I won't need to ask for anyone's IDs, and no one will need to buy me drinks, and I'll be legally getting turned. <laughs> Two thumbs up for and, legally getting turned. And and also good stories about me being drunk at three a.m. waiting for my tacos in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that. Next one. <laughs> I love that picture. <laughs> Next one. Pinterest goals. Amazing, amazing photo locations. What okay? the fuck is in those tacos? Why is it green like that? I don't know. I just picked. Oh, is it a fruit taco? I don't know. Maybe it's guacamole. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I just picked That's a taco radioactive photo. Radioactive guacamole. Okay, I just picked a taco photo. Pinterest goals, guys. Okay, we can take some really good, nice photos while we're we having... or s- us taking it of you. Both. Mm-hmm. Um, but all of our jobs are social media, and so we can make some really nice content, really fun-looking content there. Next one. Matching bikinis! <gasps> Going to a tropical location allows us to be the ultimate friend group goals. We can all get matching bathing suits, guys. How cute! I just like to know my father a little bit better. <laughs> what the fuck, Zach? <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cute? We're wearing, we're all wearing bikinis. Well, no, the guys are wearing little uh, bather shorts and sh- tops. I don't want my junk to fall out. And the girls out. are wearing bikinis or oh, okay. whatever. Next one, the resorts. I found some all-inclusive resorts as low as one hundred and ten a night. Okay, which would be great. Not bad, considering I'm paying. Um, beautiful, nice beach resorts. That sounds fun. Yeah, those look beautiful. Activities. The beach, duh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the Hi- beach. The beach, duh. Uh, hiking. There's cave swimming. You Ooh, swim in caves. That's um, not good for my claustrophobia, but go They're off. big caves. Okay. Um, Are there bats in these caves? No. Batman? Oh, my God. Zach, focus. I am focused. I'm Zach. pretty I'm pretty driving pretty hard towards this cave thing. There's snorkeling, eating some great food, tanning. Zach, we know how much you love to tan. Jared, you know how much you love to be burnt, so... Um, I don't love to tan. It's just my body just whatever. does it. You know what I mean? Um, and then clubbing. We can all go clubbing. Have a good time <laughs> in the clubs because I'm 18. Well, I'll be 19, but. Yeah. Whatever. So then people really won't have to ask. Cool restaurants like this one, the Thai Lounge. <laughs> um, they're on little floating cabanas and you can watch. Ooh, nah, nah. You can watch the dolphins <laughs> swim as you eat. So I'm that's sorry. pretty cool. That was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I said cabana, not Havana. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now you said it. Whatever. Cool restaurants. There's only one restaurant there. <laughs> I ran out of time. Um, we can watch the dolphins as you eat. So it's okay to watch those uh, dolphins? And it's my birthday and I'm paying. So How many I'm, times are you going to say you're paying? I'm basically, yeah, I'm basically right. saying. I feel like such a piece of shit. I'm basically saying be quiet and you didn't have a choice because it's my birthday, bitches. So be quiet. We had no choice in this from the beginning. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Do we okay. have to go? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. If Jared and I didn't go, who would you bring? I wouldn't bring anyone. I wouldn't have anyone to bring. What, you would just go by yourself? I wouldn't fucking go. <laughs> I wouldn't have anyone to go with. So it seems like we do have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> we have some collateral. I don't know, but Punta Cana sounds fun. First of all, got to say it slower. It sounds like a racial slur. It right. doesn't. It's just a place. Okay. Do you um, think it sounds like puta? Because I just called you a bitch in Spanish. Espanol? Espanol. Si. Me llamo Zach. ¿Cómo te llamas? I don't know what that means. All right. Um, good job. Woo! 
<laughs> See how much effort I put into mine? I know. A lot better Cancun. than I thought. None. I honestly thought you wouldn't do it. So just, <laughs> <laughs> just this is good. <coughs> My turn? Okay, it's up. Ready, everyone? Yeah. Here it is. Welcome to my presentation. A place with soft dirt and water as well. well. An intellectual PowerPoint created by Zach Justice, a boy (laughs) of two two divorces. (laughs) Okay. All right. Good start. Raise your hand if you know what this image is. Is that water? (laughs) (laughs) Raise your hand. Keep them raised if you know what this oh, is. keep them raised. Okay. What is that? Indy. It's water. But specifically? In a glass. Jared? Um, ocean water. Jared, don't get ahead of me here. <laughs> it's water uh, in a glass. There we go. Water in a glass. So where I want to go is <laughs> it's like a glass of water, but a lot more. <laughs> Any guesses? Indy. Do you like the beach? Here's a hint. <laughs> is that a lake? You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ocean. <laughs> you know what? Okay, moving on. Can you guess what is attached to oceans? Sand. Not a hand. <laughs> Not a band. <laughs> but, but sand. <laughs> are you fucking kidding? What? Jared, this is my presentation, okay? <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's okay. the greatest presentation I've ever witnessed. When the when, ocean and okay, sand... This is my presentation. <laughs> when the ocean and the sand make eternal love together, we humans call that... A vacation. The beach. The beach. Dude, it's not that hard. Sorry. Dude, I'm not a good test taker. <laughs> oh, what is that? Sneaky link? What does this do? <laughs> this sneaky link. When the ocean... Beach versus... In this American English pronunciation <laughs> video, I've come all the way to the beach to teach you how to say beach versus bitch and sheet versus shit. <laughs> so if nobody- A lot of my fans ask me about these two word pairs because of course one- We'll get to that later, but that's Rachel. She teaches English at rachelsenglish.com. So if you didn't know what a beach was and how to say it, that's how we say it. Everybody close your eyes. I'm going back to my presentation. All right. <laughs> Okay, how do I make this full screen? Is this? Yeah, it's full screen. Hmm? Is this how it was before? Yeah. Okay. Next. Beach has bird. Uh huh. Seagull. Okay. Two birds. <laughs> Three birds. Four birds. <laughs> Most of the time, <laughs> several birds. Okay. One of the big reasons we might want to go. But what? Beach has romance. Ooh. <laughs> no. He's going to hate you. So this is a picture that I took last time I was at the beach. With You did not. What? <laughs> beach has romance, Jared. <laughs> I'm going to fight you. Um, this is an image of myself. In a skimpy outfit with a sexy woman on top of me in a skimpy outfit who happens to be Jared's, one of his mothers. We're not sure which one. Oh, Zach. Oh, my God. But I don't want to What just, beach are we going to? Can you listen? I just want to say that nobody else put the cons on their list. Not one of you put cons on your list. Why and I'm a realist. Cons Because the beach oh. can be scary, so I want everybody to be prepared. Okay. Examples. Getting sand and ice, getting salt water and ice, losing invaluable in the ocean, such as sunglasses. Okay. That would suck. True. Cody lost his sunglasses when we were also, in San Diego. Tsunamis. What the fuck? He lost another he lost a pair in the San Diego. He guys, lost, he guys, loses a pair every trip. I'm literally in the middle of my PowerPoint. I don't want to know about tsunamis. Okay. <laughs> getting sand and ice, salt water and ice, and losing your valuables, such as sunglasses, also terrible. Tsunamis. Also tsunamis. This Messina earthquake tsunami in 1908, southern Italy, suffered devastation for both an earthquake and tsunami in the early mornings of December 28, 1908. The 7.5 magnitude earthquake and tsunami almost completely destroyed Messina and several coastal towns in both Italy and Sicily. Um, This disaster claimed at least 80,000 lives. This was in Italy? I'm from Sicily. I thought you were from Australia. Can you guys? I'm talking about 80,000 lives lost because of the beach. 
And you guys are over here talking about, oh, oh you were born in this town. Can we all listen <laughs> to my presentation? Uh, did I talk to you in your presentation? Yes. Zach, next one. Come on. Next one. Tsunamis are green. evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. What defeats evil? Anybody? Love. Love. What the fuck? <laughs> How are you acing this test because right now? Because it's base. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I called it. This is the only way we can beat tsunamis, everyone. Dude, I love that we're both so sunburned. <laughs> this is the only way. That is pretty photo accurate. It's the only oh way we can beat tsunamis. Oh, no, that's so weird. Hannah's going to see this. Andy, do you want to beat tsunamis? I knew <laughs> that he would do that. I knew it. I called it when he was. I was you like, did. "What? You're you gonna make us Photoshop kissing each other?" Oh, that's so weird. In conclusion, we should go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what is the sneaky, sneaky link, link for Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> what? You <laughs> whore. <laughs> 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 So that is my presentation <laughs> on why we should go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that, oh, my God. That might be the funniest <laughs> presentation I think I've ever. It wasn't uh, supposed to be funny. It was supposed to be informative. Witness. <laughs> no, it was very informative. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to experience any tsunamis. When we're in Kansas. But you guys, you two have the power to stop the tsunamis. That's what the whole presentation was about. Yeah. I guess that town's having a tsunami because that will never happen. <laughs> you wouldn't kiss me to save 80,000 people? Wow. That's heartless. But, like, would it just be a peck? No. Full on make it. Like, we got to. Whoa, Jerry. Okay. Sounds like you think love. about this. Oh, we, we have to be in love? In love. Oh, no. That's never going to happen. You don't have to be in love. It can be a simple kiss. Okay. okay simple yeah. peck. Okay. For people 80, pack to people? save to save eighty thousand people. Yeah. Right, okay, let's see it completely. <laughs> I like to think that, that Zach has like a device that's just gonna trigger a tsunami if we don't <laughs> get. <kiss. laughs> okay, when that happens. Then. All right, Zach, are you done? Thank you. You want to come back over here? You take yeah. your glasses off now. Thank you. No, you can leave the glasses on. No, oh, Jared, I've completed. Hope you guys liked it. That was so funny. So, I still don't know. I'll make my decision next podcast. You still don't know? Probably Cancun. What? (laughs) I really thought I moved some people with mine. I feel like my PowerPoint is going to somehow start a religion. (laughs) What does that mean? (laughs) An intellectual PowerPoint created by Zach Justice. Thank you. Zach, have you always been a blue cheese person? No, when I was younger. Um... I've never been a ranch person, but everybody else was a ranch person. And I noticed when I would go out with my little league um, brothers and sisters or uh, whatever sport I was in at the time, it was usually a basketball, we would all go out um, after games and, and we'd probably go get wings or something or, or pizza or whatever it is. And I noticed that the sophisticated people at the grown-up table, the adults, whenever <laughs> wings would be ordered, they, they would never say ranch. They would say, no, 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 blue cheese, please. And I always thought to myself, no. <laughs> did you just drop the pizza on our carpet? Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> um, I used, and then I used to see that mature people would get blue cheese, and I tried it, and I thought, this is disgusting. So I forced myself, any time I had an opportunity to get blue cheese, I was going to eat it until I liked it. And now, I'm sophisticated. Are you kidding me? No, that is 100% true. Why would it not be true? That's exactly you, sounds like something I would do. Why would you force yourself to eat something that you didn't like? Because I wanted to be sophisticated and mature, Jared. Okay, like who was who was getting it that was so sophisticated? Billy's dad, Rob. <laughs> Rob was sick. Were you a ranch goer before then? No, I never liked ranch. I told you this at the beginning of the story. Guys, Rob worked at a motorcycle place. And he got blue cheese dressing. And then that's what made him sophisticated enough. And mature. And mature. And I noticed he got it. And then from that moment on, I said, I will be... Like him, like Rob. Living like Rob. Wow. Rob's a felon now. Oh. Yeah. So sophisticated. What do you what do you do? He beat his wife. Okay, let's move on. Jesus Christ. Let's move on to anything else. Um <laughs> Dude, every time I pull up my phone, it's like, hey, your ex posted on Instagram. I don't have notifications on. 
on absolutely anything. I don't have post notifications on, but like sometimes it'll be like this person, this person, this person posted recently. They're always like, hey, remember this girl that you guys don't date anymore? Fell out of love. Remember that? Or guess who posted? Yeah. You want to see it? You want to <laughs> see it? What if we went and looked at it right now? How about that? I Why does your Instagram hate you? Exactly. Okay. Moving on. So sorry about that. Oh, did they really just do that? Yeah. They always do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just block her. Just. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> why now? She's like, it's <laughs> been like 10 years. All right. I've got something to talk about. I binge watched the Twilight series. Like? All of them. Like all the old ones? Like all the Twilight movies. What team are you on? Oh my God. For some <laughs> reason, I thought you were talking about the Twilight Zone. And I was like, that is such a random show to just start binging. No, 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 no. I'm talking also, Edward Jacob Bella. And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the conclusion of why I've been in such toxic relationships my whole life. Those were my childhood. Those movies were 100% my childhood. The first one came out in like 2008 or nine, I think. And then like 10, 11, 12. Like that's very prominent in my childhood, right? What the heck? They are the most toxic movies I've, like the gaslighting in them. We were discussing this on FaceTime the other day. The gaslighting in these- You guys call each other to talk about Twilight? No, I spoke to him once. Well, she called me. Woo. All right, go ahead. Um. Just, I just got a new amp, but I'll make fun of you guys for <laughs> I, <laughs> d- It fully makes sense as to why I was in the most toxic relationships ever. The gaslighting because done. Because you had Edward to look up to. I had all of them to look up to. Jacob's gaslighting Bella and being manipulative as hell. Like in one of the scenes, he goes, "He's got a lot going on. He's half wolf." <laughs> okay, in yeah, one the of the scenes, in one of the scenes, Jacob goes to Bella when Bella like decides on like who she's kind of picking between Edward and Jacob, and he goes, oh, "Fine, I might as well go get myself killed to make it easier for you." And he like walks oh, away, whoa. and she goes, "No, Jacob, mm, Jacob," and he goes, "What?" And she says kiss me and then they kiss and then edward sees and it becomes this whole argument but it's like oh, the manipulation gaslighting there is insane edward just like constant like i'm sorry but also like oh i've got so much to say i'm sorry i'm sorry my mind is going a million miles an hour ignoring all the gaslighting and everything if they're doing all this for one bitch <laughs> for one for this certain freaking wars with the freaking what the 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 higher vampires Mm-hmm. They're getting people killed over this bitch. For Bella. For Bella. For Bella. She's kind of a baddie with a fatty, though. If you no, really think about not. it. She's not. Okay. Well, are you Team Jacob? Got, like, are you Team Jacob or Team got, Edward? She's got like a constipated look on her face the entire movie. Yeah, she's, she's like she's very self conscious about that. She's I'm like, sure. She probably didn't even know that was all being filmed. It was like a slice of her life. <laughs> <laughs> and then like there's this one scene where Edward like pulls up to the house and she like goes and looks out the window and spends like two minutes at the window just looking at him going like this. Sexy. Yeah, I try to smash too. And, then, yeah. like, <laughs> and everyone's like making memes out of it being like, is she coming or is she just going to stay there? Okay. Like it, I can't. The movies are the most toxic things ever and they're so bad. If I have to ask this one more time. Are you Team Jacob? Oh, I'm Team Jacob. Why? Get into it. Because he's way hotter. Okay, and then that and goes also, to the toxicity. Okay. <laughs> and there's the toxicity. No, okay, but also Edward's like freezing cold all the time. I'm a very uh, cold person. He can't he doesn't he's a vampire, okay? He's he's but dealing here, with okay, so much. Here's why I'm Team Jacob over Team Edward. Jacob, I mean, let's put the looks aside, but he's very hot. Um and temperature wise though too like he produ- he's like 100 and something 10 he's like 112 fahrenheit at all times is what he said or something edwards ice cold okay i'm a cold person i need to be warmed up all the time so there's that number 2 edwards always going to want to kill me cuz i don't want to be a vampire i don't want to live eternally that just sounds like it's too much I don't want to do that. You uh, are. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like it's oh, too, too much. much. Well, I mean, just the 19 years I've had on this earth have been intense, and I don't want to do it anymore. Um, ooh. Sorry, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, Yo, I next think- week, uh, if you guys send your application, we need a new host <laughs> in these um, going I'll, down for the dirt nap, and that's all right. I'll you know, be sending this clip to your uh, therapist. Oh, she's taking herself out already. On live on pod on dropouts. Why does she run away every time she chokes on things? Dude, I don't know. Water down go down the wrong pipe. It like went down the wrong pipe and went through the It went down it went down she the wrong started. <laughs> I said she goes, it went down the wrong Oh, what if you use the mic? Okay. 
It went down the wrong pipe. And then <laughs> 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 it, the water like went down the wrong pipe and like went out my nose too. That's just my little input on Twilight. It's just intense and Team Jacob all the way. So. Like the way that Edward would break in to her. <laughs> Jared, That's her creepy. Room. The way that he just breaks in and she's like, "How I long have you been doing this?" And he goes, "Just for the past couple months." And she goes. <laughs> I thought vampires had to be invited in. Me too. So how is he just standing there? Guess not. Not in this world. I think that's only Vampire Diaries. I guess, well, not only Vampire Diaries, but... Well, yeah, and a couple other vampire shows, I'm sure. But probably in the same universe where vampires sparkle in the sunlight and not, like, well, burn not to in, death. Well, not in... Well, no, they don't burn to death in the sun in... Can girls in Vampire Diaries? In t- Vampire Diaries, they burn to death. Okay. In Twilight, they sparkle. They that's don't burn. That's what I just said. Oh, I thought you were saying that they burn to death in both. No. Do you think I'd be a vampire? Or do you think I'd be a um? You're a vampire. Werewolf. Really? No, I think he'd be a werewolf. Really? He's a million the- degrees at all times. Wait, what's the debate here? I'll, I'm going to give you the floor, Jared. You can take it right after. Yeah. Who would be a vampire in this room? No, who would no, be a werewolf? Y- we're fu- we're the th- 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 the debate. You guys are debating whether I'm a... Oh, okay. Well, he's a werewolf. Uh, okay. Good debate. Um, <laughs> turn it over to you. Well, he could also be a vampire. Nice. Way to really just... <laughs> All right. Okay, wait, wait. Here's my thing. Okay, well, can we just discuss this together versus it being like you're a vampire and I'm a werewolf? Because I don't even know in my head just yet. I need to lay the cards out. Yeah, okay. I'm saying he's a vampire. Okay, now why, because, are you, why are you saying he's a vampire? Because he's like... Tall and slender, and I think the him saying that that's he's, true. I think him saying that he's always hot is a cover up for how cold he actually is. No, I can vouch for him always being that hot. Okay, but um, <laughs> I don't think I feel like werewolves are more like nature, like natural, not nat- like nature centered, and at least with all the werewolves in the the Jacobs tribe, you know, like. They're all um, very Watch your words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you say don't have the muscles to be a werewolf? <laughs> I don't. I don't okay, think so. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Werewolves are like. I think you have the body type of, a vampire. of Edward. I think you have a body type of. You'd be killed by. A, you'd be the victim that had one word, and his word was ah, as he died at the beginning of the film. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, maybe. Yeah, well deserved. I think, okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe vampire. Because he just also has, like, a very, like, stone-cold demeanor. Yeah, that's true. No, I agree with you now that the only thing that really makes him a werewolf is the heat. But he never gets angry, and werewolves have to get angry to uh, to spark their werewolfiness. Their well- werewolfiness. <laughs> their werewolfiness. I mean, he never gets mad. You kind of look like um that girl. What's her name? Bella? Bella? Bella. I look nothing like her. You look just like her. <laughs> I look nothing like her. Well, pale skin, Pull up brown a photo eyes. of Bella. I look nothing like her. All right. Jared, just pull up a photo of Indy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to do that. Oh. I, d- I hate to say this, Indy. It's kind of there. No, it's not. It's I look nothing like it's her. It's kind of there. I don't look anything like that. I think if wow. you, I think if you had orange eyes Uncanny. And, you put, and you put those extensions back in. Yep. You're Bella. No, I'm not. That's a compliment. She had two guys going for her. Yeah, she had two. And she picked the wrong one. Frankly, she should have picked Jacob. Look, it's. <laughs> but I guess with Edward, I look she up got a cool picture powers. of Bella from Twilight, and I see a picture of Zach and Indy. <laughs> Come on, that was. I'm gonna give myself a. You can't get. Oh that. wow. Wrong. It was the wrong blue button. Okay, if you got arrested. Right, with no explanation, like they just your fan friends and family on the news just saw Zach Justed or Indiana, you know, arrested. What would they immediately assume that you've done? Yours would be pedophilia, but mine Shut the fuck up. would probably be Indy would kill someone. No, I wouldn't. She blacks out when she gets mad, and I feel like she slit someone's throat. Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> oh my god! It definitely. Oh, Jared and I talk about this often. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you would. I could Wait, you guys have talked about what? You, you getting murdering so us. mad that you would murder. Yeah. That, what? That's a lie. I would never do that. Okay. I would hit someone for sure. Okay, and then you hit them, they fall, hit their head on the curb, they die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I think. You don't hit people near curbs. 
your one rule. I'm not strong enough to, like, hit somebody and kill them. We're not saying, like, you hit them and that's what kills them. In this situation, we're saying, oh, it's I would time not to kill go on a somebody. walk. I never get mad enough to kill. Well, what? Okay, what, well. if, what if someone really hurt Jared? What if they, like, cut off his arm? Oh, then oh. I'd be pissed. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> an armless Jared? <laughs> I'd be pissed. That's his job. What's up, guys? <laughs> if Jared was paralyzed from the neck down, and he, like, specifically asked you to be the one to, like, bathe him and change him and stuff, <laughs> would you do that? No. Wh- what? That's wow. Hannah's, that's Hannah's job. No, okay, Hannah's not Hannah, here. She's in Chicago. Away. Well, then Hannah needs to break up with you then, and then it becomes somebody else's job. But until that day. Dude, he can't job. move. He's like a fish. What, you're just going to. And he's just absolutely just defecated sh- all over his bed sheets and needs you to clean him up. You you're going to ship me no. to go see Hannah with, with poopy pants? <laughs> Dude, you wouldn't wipe him down after an old Stanley steamer? I would hire a nurse for you. No, this is, for some reason no nurses here. You have to, you have to clean his bum. Uh-huh. No, I'm not doing it. You're just gonna let him. Okay, he could develop disease. Ever heard of it? Yep, and that's not my job to deal with. It's sex as your roommate. I'm not touching his wiener. I'm not touching it either. Okay, but it it makes more sense for you to touch it. Why? You like wieners. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. What? what the hell? I don't want to. Okay, fine. <laughs> Okay, wait, no. Uh, what would you go to jail for? What would Zach, you go to jail I was going to say, <laughs> honestly, like, I, we're, I mean, we weren't joking, but we were joking about you killing someone. I was going to say yours would be assault. Mm-hmm. Like, I think. I would think his would be assault, too. I would think Zach's. Yeah, mine would be would, a pepper. I think <laughs> Zach's would be assault. Okay, no, here's my thing. It would either be like running his mouth at the wrong person and then he get like he gets arrested and because they're in a bad mood, like the cops in a bad mood because Zach runs his mouth. Like he cannot he cannot not talk back, if that makes sense. Yes, I can. No, you can't. See? Well Um, <laughs> um I've seen you no, in these situations. Yeah, like we know that you anytime anyone says something slightly off to you, he you're there immediately. And I think that, that would get you into trouble and you'd either assault that person and when you get mad enough, you black out and you could easily kill someone getting mad enough. No, that's not true. No, but See, I was thinking Zach would be premeditated murder. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But I, he wouldn't I, get caught. He's the type that he wouldn't get caught. And that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like the only reason like he would ever be arrested is like if he got caught, which wouldn't happen, but like I could see Zach fully planning out how to kill mm-hmm. somebody. And get Whoa, guys, it. no. Okay, no, I'm a gentle soul with a sweet heart who doesn't yes, want to murder anyone. You are, but like, if, like that's the only thing I could ever think about is like a real hatred in your heart for a person and then like you'd want to kill him. Mine would just be like assault. Like I'd get mad enough to assault somebody pretty bad. Jared would be like peeing in a playground or something. Uh, I just watched Horrible Bosses yesterday and that was that was part of charlie day's character was that he was on the registered sex <laughs> offender list yeah, dude you look like it. you'd be on the registered sex offender because he he got drunk and uh got caught peeing at a playground he's like well they shouldn't put a park next to a bar i agree you know like publicly exposing yourself because you'd be oh yeah too drunk you'd be like look at a wiener to someone and then they would be like didn't i would see never that. be look at the wiener it would no, definitely it would just be, be like you peeing, peeing somewhere or on someone, like in their building. I don't think I've or, ever. Been or or you'd drunk. be so drunk enough to like get on top of a cop car and like start dancing. They'd be like, "All right, dude." I could, yeah, I could see myself doing that. Actually, <laughs> that's that's not out of question. character. That's not out of character for Jared. Have you? Is there something that, like, as a kid, you got away with doing that your parents still don't know about? I mean, mine are all dumb. Like what? Um. <laughs> Like it's, I'm talking dumb enough. Like, like my mom would always. Um, we had these really expensive Egyptian vases in our house. Of course they did. <laughs> we we're talking about before that she lived a rich lifestyle. Oh, we were talking about pizza toppings. Oh, because Jared and I know. Okay, so we get pizza at Domino's, and it comes with a coupon. It's five ninety nine pizza, and you get two toppings. And Jared and I, we would both probably get more than two toppings. But um, we understand that the coupon, and we know we can't go over the the toppings. So our pizzas are both five ninety nine, and then Indiana's like, "Why is my pizza fourteen ninety nine? And we're like, "It's because you added about a hundred things to it." And I didn't. Mine's only two topping pizza. Well, because yeah, we, we made you switch. 
Anyway, and we said... I didn't know about the coupon. We said Indy was probably the person when she was little. She never... She always got whatever she wanted on her pizza and didn't have to sacrifice. I always had Hawaiian pizzas. Um, We had these big Egyptian vases, like, at the end of a staircase. Um, And... It's really dumb, but, like, my mom would always yell at it. She was like, who keeps putting, like, the mint wrappers in the vases? And I was like, oh, no, but it was me. Wow, because you were... <laughs> I can't believe you admitted that on the internet. <laughs> you Wait, you tell... Well, no, let me break this down, Indy. <laughs> let me break this down. You ate candy. <laughs> am I, wait, am I, tell me if I get off the train track mints, here. I ate mints. You ate mints. Mm-hmm. You would take the wrapper, mm-hmm. you would take the candy out, the mints, and you put it in your mouth, and you eat mm-hmm. it, and then you would take that mint wrapper, <laughs> and you would throw it in a vase in your home, and no one knew? No. You bad girl. I know. You ba- that's why you're going to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> God, you lived a little crazy life. No, well, didn't wait, I don't know. No, no, I never did anything like wrong like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just heard a story that was quite the opposite. Little rapper girl, little rapper yeah, bandit. Like right outside. Oh, I was about to say bandit. something. So, or, or, yeah. Okay, or I would. That's going to make me sound so bougie, and I'm not going to say it. Well, now you got to oh, say it. Oh, now we got to yeah, I'm going to sound. I used to put rappers in my vase, my <laughs> giant Egyptian vase, in my $5 million home. Okay, go ahead. So we had a little gym in our house, and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> you had- we had like a, we had a small 24-hour fitness in <laughs> in our home, we had a, we had a small plan of fitness. It wasn't yeah. a big deal. It wasn't like a. It there was, was like, memberships. It was small. It was right it was next like, to the Starbucks. It was Go ahead. Like it was smaller than this room, but it was whatever. smaller than this <laughs> giant room. My, my dad had like a little mini a little mini pot pot thing on it, um, <laughs> and a sauna. And there was a sauna and a putt putt course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's got eighteen <laughs> holes in the gym. <laughs> no, it was just like it was just like one hole, but it was whatever. Um. And then there was a sauna, and then there was one of those, um, what are they called? Elliptical. Elliptical. Elliptical bikes or whatever. Yeah, the, one of those. Um, and my dad would make us put, like, towels on the seats or wherever we were using it, and I never wanted to do the laundry, so I would just fold it and put it back in the God. cabinet. You bad girl. Yeah. Wow. Just putting mint wrappers in the vases. <laughs> I never and sweat. And reusing. Like can, you, can you dive us in a little bit more to, to the luxury life a little bit? Jared won in. Was there we a pool? Had, yeah, we had a pool in a spa. It was a lap pool. Oh, a lap pool. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lap pool, um, a hot tub, a uh, tennis court. <laughs> uh, what? Mm-hmm. It was like a half court, but it was tennis court. Um, and then at either end, we had a basketball hoop and a netball hoop because we just did. I don't know. Um, and then we had a giant chest, a giant chest thing made of concrete. It was about like. Uh-huh. Massive chess pieces. Um oh, our in our living room. Sorry, this is just I miss this house so much. Oh, I, I bet. <laughs> in our living room we had um so we had all blackout curtains because our whole second it was like a how many stories was how many stories was it? Let me count. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it was a three story house. Uh, dude, I wanna find pictures of the house that I grew up. You can't up. you can find pictures of the house online of mine. Um we had Dude, you wouldn't even consider mine one story. I feel like this is like half a story. So. <laughs> um, there's no, there's no room, ending to mine. We had this like really massive couch. It was like this massive U-shaped couch. It was like the comfiest thing ever. Um, and our TV was probably about the size of this thing, and it would come down from the ceiling. Of course, what? And it, it was oh, the fuck. coolest thing for everybody. Um, not able to picture it. It's a that's a 13 foot pole. Up it was there. huge. Oh, maybe it wasn't 13 foot, but it was a massive TV that would come down from the ceiling. So cool. Did you understand that you had money as a child? Oh, 100%. Were you oh, like, okay. You were yeah. like, or were you like, God, our TV that comes from God is <laughs> <laughs> broken again. No, 100% I knew I had money because like I would, it, it was obviously like, incre- like I grew up in an incredible house. Like, and I always knew that we had money based on like, you know, the cars that my parents drove were like always the newest cars or like I went to the best schools or like I live in a massive home. Like I knew I had money, but it also made me, like, I never wanted to invite my friends over to my house because I was, like, nervous that they would only like me because of the house that I have or anything like that. And I would have. It gave me, like, a lot of insecurities. But once <laughs> I found, call. but, like, but also, like, once I found, like, really, really good friends, we would go, we'd have, like, massive sleepovers because, like. Because you can't have small ones in a mansion. <laughs> Can you imagine playing hide and go seek? Oh, it was the house? best. <gasps> it was the best. Dude, it we, was we played hide and go seek. It was hide behind the couch, and then we'll find you behind the couch. And that was the end of the game because there's only one place to hide. Yo, we played the 
best games of hide and go seek in that house. Like when I mean the best, you guys will see the house eventually because I doubt it. Well, it's on the market, but regardless, um, I mean, hopefully you guys will be able to see it one day. Okay, so there was this unruly passenger. I wanted to bring this up on an airplane recently. And um, I saw a headline. He was like groping people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I did see that. Like he was grabbing... The he female like, uh, flight attendants, and he was like screaming, and this he was, was and on he, a, like punched the male one. This was on like a frontier flight, and he kept on and then screaming about something about how rich his parents are. And he's like, "Do you front, know who my grandma is?" And Frontier is not an affluent airline; like it's a very cheap airline, and it's kind of funny to be saying how rich you are. He's also in the back of the plane. The plane when you're on a very like cheap flight, like it's okay to be on a cheap flight. But it's probably not the best place to spout how rich you are because you're. It looks like he was in a drunken rage. Can you confirm the drunkenness? Uh, I think so. He definitely looked like he was in a drunken rage, but he also looked like he was like the president of a frat. I don't you know. know there, I mean? There's a video. I want to see the beginning, and then I want to see at the end. Uh, the the stewardesses, steward I, the stewards, the stewards, the little I don't know who flight this, the flight attendants. The flight attendants detained him in a hilarious <laughs> way. I thought. Passenger taped to seat after allegedly groping attacking flight attendants. I don't know where Florida is. Where I'm going. And you know what? You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? My grandpa? Oh. Oh, we started throwing haymakers. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Dude, everybody on Frontiers. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. That's so funny. And I'm pretty sure the people that, or the flight attendants that did it to him got relieved of duty for a while, but they're trying to get him reinstated. I could be wrong. But everybody's up in arms like, yeah, that's kind of what you have to do. Like, what like but if, yeah, if what, they're like... belligerent on a plane. They're belligerently drunk, which is also kind of the flight attendant's fault. You have to stop feeding them alcohol at some point. But we don't know if they were drunk or not. But also you could drink before you get on that's a plane. That's true. You can do anything to make sure you get drunk on a flight. But, um, yeah, what else are you going to do if like they're assaulting people and they're screaming and they're making like you can't land if you're in a place where you can't make an emergency landing. Also, emergency landings cost and take so much time. So, yeah, what else are you meant to do? I don't know. I just saw I didn't know that they got in trouble for that. I just know they were take like they got put on leave in the I thought it was for um just like recovery from that, like just from the psychological and for the one that got punched physical, you know, trauma. Um, Cause it was paid leave. So like, oh, I, it was I, maybe, I um, no, that's insane. Speaking of, is that legal to be able to do that? I have no idea. I don't even know where to start with looking it up. If that's legal. Or Can not. you duct tape people to their <laughs> chairs on a flight? Against their will. If they assaulted you first. If in your midair. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of technical stipulations that go into that. That's a funny way. He was like, my my parents were $2 million and my grandpa and you suck. (laughs) Okay. That's why you're on a Frontier flight, buddy. In the back. First of all, Frontier is a great establishment. Have you ever flown Spirit? No. I've flown Spirit before. We have um, this place in Australia place this airline in australia called tiger airways it's like the the spirit <laughs> what was that tiger he's an old rapper <laughs> shut up it's it's like the spirit of australia it's really bad that and then um so is what is it Qantas it has a nickname beep this because you, i can't say this but they everyone in australia is nicknamed it this oh they're the bitchiest flight attendants ever did not know that yeah spirits and hot water though for what for what uh, they just canceled like thousands of flights. For well, they didn't mean to. <laughs> they got a lot going on. They've got like three pilots between a hundred <laughs> <laughs> planes. You know. Speaking of uh, planes and, and such, um, have you? Did you see the guy? I saw this on TikTok. Um, it was the guy that jumped out of a plane without a parachute. Yeah, I did see that. Did I saw the start of the video and I wasn't interested enough to keep watching. What happened? He lived. He nice. lived. But <laughs> do you want to see the video? Yeah. 
Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. That's crazy. He landed in a net, right? Yeah, so he jumped oh, out. Oh, I did watch the end of the video. He did end in a net. Good job. It was like a big spider web, but with yeah. ropes. Mm-hmm. They're off. That's just... Why would you want to do that? Imagine just free falling and just knowing you don't have a safety net. Like, Dude, look John how- Mayer must be nutting <laughs> over this video. <laughs> Why John Mayer? Because <coughs> I'm free. Oh. Free falling. <laughs> But that's just, like, insane. What? How bored are human beings now that we're just jumping out of planes without Look, parachute? he's got his no, buddies I love next it. to him. This is what America's... Is this in America? Uh, I think so. This is what America's all about. He's got his buddies next to him. All of his buddies have parachutes, except him. Well, yeah, just in case something goes yeah, wrong. Yeah, well, they're there right now because I wonder if he has an emergency parachute just in case. Nah, no. not him. No, 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 no. Because no. then, like, what's the point? You know. Well, just in case you fucking die and something goes wrong. Yeah, but if the you, whole point, yeah, the, the whole point is that it can't go wrong. You know, like that's that's crazy. They're all just free falling. And so it's like, well, they're all falling because they were up so high that, like, so he didn't pass out. He had to have like an oxygen mask, and so then they're there to um, basically get that mask from him, so that. He can like you know land, dude. I bet his his ball tinglies were the absolute peak level. The what? <laughs> girls, ball tinglies. Anytime, okay, girls don't understand this phenomenon, but guys, how, how how do you describe it, Jared? When we go down a roller coaster, something happens to our genitalia that is foreign to us that excites us every time. We get like butterfly balls. Butterfly balls. Is oh, how look at this. I would describe it. We're falling fast now. Dude, and just like... Oh, my God. He's just on his own falling right now. Like, that's a terrifying <laughs> angle. Like, just seeing it from the top down. Oh, and he absolutely missed. <laughs> his family's like, here. Oh, like, could you imagine? He's just going to make imagine? it in that net. How does he make sure that he falls right there? There wow. we go. Wow. Like, that is such a completely... <laughs> that's crazy. ...different video. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Imagine, imagine if he missed and everyone was just like. Uh, like whoa. the silence. In that would be. But the deafening. impact, it would just be a, a quick. And they'd be like, okay, let's go home. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> look uh, at all those people. They would all be traumatized. <laughs> traumatized just watching after watching die. a guy. May, some of them, a lot of them, probably his friends and family. <laughs> just die. <laughs> 27,000 feet. Well, yes. Yeah, yes. very quick. The quickest. <laughs> yes. Almost like if, instantly. Like, if, if you're you going to die, make it like that. You know what I mean? Well, it wouldn't be the quickest death because you're thinking about it like the entire, like, it's a, it's a pretty long. I just want to know what yeah. that net felt like after oh, that. Do you reckon he got hurt in any way? Yeah, there's no way you fall. Like, you have to. His I know back he was must like, have been spread. hurting the next day. Yeah. Or it, it's funny, it's like the end of this video. Or, like, the announcer is like, oh, he landed, he's kicking and waving his arms, and then it cuts to an angle, and he's just completely still in there. Like, the announcer just, like, had no... Oh, idea. turns out he died. Wait, hold on. Better look to the next one. Kicking and moving. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just like, dude, that hurts so bad. <laughs> like, there's no way that didn't hurt. Anyway, um, wait, you get butterfly balls? Oh, yeah, butterfly balls. You don't get this? I don't have balls, Zach. You don't get tulip whatevers? Tu- uh, I don't know. I'm going to get um, butterflies in my tulip stomach. The tulip two-step? <laughs> yeah, butterflies in my tummy when we, like, drop her. And it is it. intense in our balls, though. But, yeah, imagine that just, like, in your balls. <laughs> That's so weird. It, no, it is, but it's, like, overwhelming. It's like, okay, jeez, you know what I mean? It's like a little fairies down there just... <laughs> Tinkerbell's down there just tickling. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, If you thought, hey, wow, this podcast was really good at the beginning and then it took a downward slope, we understand and we're going to fix it next week. We will. Okay? So we don't need all this slander on the timeline. Thank you. I got to hiccup. If you stay to the end, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And DM me a picture of Jared in a boat. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jeff Ray Music. This is Dropouts Podcast on Instagram. You can go follow, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever the 
frick you please we'll see you guys next week for another episode every sunday bye allegedly you